honestly was kind of scared coming into the class just because I was scared to like um, say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing um, and like make a mistake but then coming into the class I realized that you just kind of have to be a good person like a good friend and there isn't really a way that you can do it wrong necessarily mm -hmm. as long as you're nice and everything so I've learned the value of understanding all the different types of intelligence and that academic intelligence, although it is really important, it is so pushed to us throughout like K through 12, but there are students in this class who may be lower functioning or who are not as academically high flying, but they're very artistic, they're very compassionate. A lot of them love to socialize and that's just as important as being book smart. When I first like went in class, it was very. I I thought like I don't. I wasn't. Good. I didn't think I'd be good in the environment because I'm not a good teacher. So I thought it'd be a challenge to do this. But then going in the environment, like I was looking at the other boys' class, I was like, these guys are really good at this. Like they're really good at what they're doing. And I thought like maybe I could learn that. But like a week went by and it became more of like less of like a teaching thing than more of like hanging out with my friends for like for a class hour. And it became more of like fun than the, the than the job. I agree, and I kind of just learned how to be more inclusive, and that's not just in this class, but also outside of it and throughout my life in general. Just like learning how to make friends and like learning how to interact with people, like I'm more confident in myself and like talking to people and interacting with people. I know for me, like this class has helped me with my communication skills because like we have to give directions and steps and those kinds of things. So that's helped me to become a better communicator. For this class, I knew that socially, I love spending time with people with disabilities and encouraging inclusion, but I wasn't aware of my abilities to also assist. And so being able to be in this class and learn about like hand over hand and about just giving verbal instructions and letting them do it themselves instead of assuming that they can't. And so I learned a lot of skills that have led me to want to do occupational therapy or speech pathology and to continue assisting this population. Yeah, um, I think that um, I won't be as hesitant to like approach people and talk to people after this class and um, also just, you know, uh, keep in mind that the relationships that I built from this class and that I have the opportunity to make similar relationships in the future. me it's kind of just helping not judge people by how they may look or act and more of trying to get to know them and and kind of under trying to understand what they're going through and not just live my life and try try to understand their point of view you can also like help them feel more included and be more be a part of their life like instead of just them being there you can like step in and like be a friend, like be another name of friends they got, and then you can just help out a lot. And it's um, it's really awesome to see them and like say hi to them and like have a, a friendship. It just means a lot. It's cool. So I would say um, just like the genuine relationships that you're able to form, like with uh, students, because they are mostly around each other all day. So getting to see you makes them really excited, and they and just seeing like the look on their face and just how happy they get. It's just super cool. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the, like, like building the friendships with them. I mean, they're like, 
I mean, they're really some of the best friends you can get because they're always, like, no matter what, they're gonna be wanting to be friends with you. And I mean, there's some real friends and it's hard to find real friends and it's pretty cool. I know for me personally, like I love getting to spend time with them and get to know them. So even like as I graduate high school, I still want to be able to make those connections and serve and find opportunities like that. Yeah, and like just learning how to like interact with people with disabilities, like it's really cool to like get to know how to do it. And it's like a good life skill that I can take into the world. What do you want people to know or do after you've had this class? Just like saying hello in the hall. You don't have to like take a whole like class hour for it. Like that, like that's really great if you do that, but it's not like you can just even just seeing them in the hall and like saying hello, trying to learn like who they are, and, like caring about them. Uh, kind of building off that is just including people because you never know like how they are or who they are until you actually include them and talk to them. And I think I encourage people to do that no matter who it is. Awesome. This class has taught me just how important inclusion is, and not only inclusion with special needs students, but inclusion with everybody. Everybody wants to like fit in, everybody wants to belong, everybody wants to have friends. So just seeing anybody, special needs or not, that just kind of is out there alone, I feel like I'm now way more able to approach them and like be friends with them just because like of the experiences that I've had in this class. I would say like the, uh, <clears throat> I went, well, I went to the bowling alley and it was the, the Special Olympics and they were like training and uh, this kid, he had Down syndrome and he came up to me and he was like, hey bro, you remember me? Like talking to me like he knew, I didn't know who he was. I mean, I never, like I, he, I don't have him in class or anything like that. I don't think he goes to school anymore. He got a beard and a tattoo and everything. And, I, I, and he's like, we're, I was just talking to him and it, I mean, I could already tell that like, just me being in the class made that interaction a lot easier for both of us. And like, like I knew how to talk to him and, and I just talked to him like he's a normal person, just like, like, you know, just talking to him, normal conversation, asking him how his day was, just giving him, not, not treating him like somebody different, you know, just treating him like a friend.